In this video, we are going to deploy this fifth payable contract to a testnet. Hello and welcome to another video of Solidity Do It Yourself tutorials. Up until now, we have created this contract and we were able to deploy to a Remix environment, which is just a very sandbox kind of an environment. Now, in this video, we are gonna deploy that on this contract on Gurley testnet using MetaMask. So MetaMask is a wallet. Look at the top of your screen right now. It will show you a, a video how to create a MetaMask wallet for yourself. So please follow that video. So I have this MetaMask wallet with 1.682 Gurley ETH. The ending is 3816, account ending. Right, So this is the MetaMask wallet that we will be using to create or, or to deploy this on Gorli testnet. Now on MetaMask, on the top here, you would see Ethereum mainnet, Gorli, Sepolia, and localhost. Please note that this is ERC20 contract. And this Ethereum mainnet has now been moved to the proof of stake. Earlier, before September 2022, it was proof of work. So look at the proof of work and proof of stake. And after this transfer of the Ethereum mainnet to the proof of stake protocol, the Robston, Rinkiby, and Covan and other testnets are gone. Only Gurley and Sepolia testnets are supported. So we will do all of our things, creating NFTs, tokens, Web3s, everything on Gurley from now onwards. So we'll deploy this contract on Gurley using my account 3816, ending in 3816, all right? So what we will do is, first of all, let's compile it. So we're gonna compile as usual, fifth payable contract. This is compiled, no errors. Now I go back in here in the deploy section and instead of remix, we are going to use injected provider MetaMask. And let's look at different types of connectors that are available in Solidity. You have MetaMask, Hardhat, which is your another uh, way of deploying contracts, Ganache, which is your local blockchain, Foundry, Wallet Connect, HTTP Provider External, L2 Optimism, and Arbitrum. So there are so many providers that you could use, but for now, we'll use injected provider MetaMask. And you see, as soon as I select here, it says Gurley 5 network because I am connected to Gurley 5. If I have selected Ethereum mainnet. So ultimately, when you are once you are ready to deploy it onto the Ethereum mainnet, you can click here and start deploying, but you will be paying actual Ether, actual dollars. But because this is like learning video, we are using Gurley testnet. Make sense? Now, um, here you see the account number. Earlier in the Remix version, we had so many accounts, right? These are test accounts. But here, when I selected MetaMask, it is selecting the address to which my MetaMask is connected. Make sense? Now, this address, we can see it on um, Gorli Etherscan. I'll show you all the details in a few minutes. Next is, I'm going to now deploy. So this deploy is gonna happen on Gurley testnet. How do you go there? You go to gurley.etherscan.io. This is the testnet. And mainnet of ether is etherscan.io. So this is your mainnet. This is your mainnet. That means the real deal, the real dollars, everything is real. But this is the exact replica of the Ethereum mainnet, but this is test for your testing and development purposes. All right, so let's deploy this and we will see this contract on, on this testnet. So I click on deploy and look at that. It is asking me to confirm that I want to use my wallet to deploy the, the contract. And if you look at it, it says HTTPS Remix. It is coming from remix.ethereum.org. It is contract deployment. You can see it in data. This is my hex data. Uh, remember the hex data um, that we were talking about um, in the ABI um, 
So in the compilation details, when you go back to the compilation details, uh, a, this is the ABI application binary interface. And then this is the under Web3 deploy. This is the data. We'll talk about Web3 and Python and Web3.js and everything else uh, later, but just for your information. Going back, selected injected provider deploy, it is asking me to accept the transaction and I say confirm. And there were two transactions that I confirmed by mistake, but you understand, right? It's it's gonna be creating. You see, I deployed it two times, doesn't matter. Let's look at any one of the contract. So if you look at it, it says pending. I'm gonna pause the video. It's gonna take some time for you to deploy the contract. I'm gonna pause the video and come back to it in a few seconds. So this contract deployment is successful. You have the transaction hash, you have status, you have timestamp, you have from account, and you have this input data. And please note that it says contract. And here, this is from who created this contract. Now, if I click on this, this is the contract number. It is also a hexabinary hexa code. So if you look at this, contract this is the contract it does not have a value yet because obviously we have not deposited anything over here and then you have there is nothing obviously it's a fresh fresh contract contract right so so let's let's understand and the reason it says we found 10 other contracts because i was testing this as and when we were building all right now let's move on to the next one so I'm I'm going to use my function. If you look at here, there are two contracts. You know what? I'm just going to delete one. All right. So this is eight one four and eight one four. Yep. And it, the other one because I by mistake click two times deploy. So I'm going to use this eight one four contract. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm going to first of all deposit crypto. Okay, so I'm going to say deposit crypto and let's do a deposit. So where is my deposit? Yeah, let's go deposit, right? So in here, I'm going to transfer again, 100 fini or 10 fini, fini. And I'll say deposit. You see here, it asked me again. Remember when we were doing on Remix, it was not asking me anything. It was just doing it, doing the transfer when we were doing the remix. But now because we were doing MetaMask, it is telling me that, hey, I want to confirm. And this transaction is now pending because it takes time. I click on view on Etherscan and it's, it says that it's going to take some time. And look at this, right? And this is the test net, please remember. But when we do on Ethereum, you're going to pay actual dollars. So I would not suggest you to do Ethereum unless and until you are confident on the contract that you're creating. At this point in time, what I wanted to do is make you understand how the real stuff works. All we were doing is deployment on the Remix till now, up until now, all right? So you have now the transfer of Ether, the transaction fee, and successful, right? So this was success. You see how much it was burned, uh, savings, gas fees, how much gas was utilized. It utilized apparently all 100% and so, so many things, right? So this is the contract. Let me click on the contract or go to the contract which had already opened and say refresh. You see here the balance on this contract has increased and on this transaction hash, you have the there was a transaction 43 seconds ago. And now this transaction has been written forever on uh, on the test net. And you can come and take a look. Sometimes they refresh the test nets, but for some good amount of time, you will see these contracts already there. Make sense? So now let's use Remix to do a withdraw. So I'm gonna withdraw some ether, right? So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna 
withdraw let's say five one two three eight, we have to put 18 zeros so one two three six nine twelve fifteen i'm not putting obviously 18 zeros and i'm going to say withdraw as soon as i say withdraw it's it asks for the gas fees look at it's only requiring the gas fees they confirm and if I click on view on Etherscan, it says pending. It's gonna take a few seconds, but once the transaction is completed, you would see that from this contract, uh, from, let's, let's look at the contract, sorry about that. So this is the contract and look at that. The transaction went through and you would see that the 0 0.1 value of the ether is now reduced to half. And this was your transaction, which happened 23 seconds ago. So you see here, it says transfer from this contract to my address. Now let's do some testing wherein you have the negative test cases. That means it fails. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect, I have created another wallet in my account. So if I, in MetaMask, if this is my new other wallet, right? And uh, this account ends in 3073. Now look at this, as soon as I change this account, the account here also changed. Now I have 0 0.14 Gorley ETH. I'm going to transfer, let's say, 75 Fine from 3073 because the owner of this contract is not 3073. It was my other account, right? So 75 Fine, I'm going to be transferred. So let's look at the owner, contract owner. Contract owner is my 3816 ending, but this is 3073. This account can only deposit but cannot withdraw, right? That is how we have written, if you remember the modifier, contract, owner, constructor. Make sense? So let's start. I'm going to first of all deposit. So I'm going to be depositing crypto. It is asking me to send 0 0.07 Gorley ETH. Say confirm. And as, as soon as I say confirm, I can view it on Etherscan. The transaction is pending. Once this transaction gets through, you would see that this contract, see, look at that. It says pending in the contract. It shows you now total number of transactions, right? And then as soon as I, this transaction gets completed, you would have, yeah, this transaction is now completed. And if you go to contract address, say refresh, and this transaction was completed, you have the balance now up to 0 0.08 ether. And this shows you that the transaction that happened. Now, because the owner of this contract is 3816, but it is not the 3073, it won't let me do the withdraw. So let me try to withdraw the same crypto amount which we did earlier the last time. I clicked on withdraw and look at that. This is an error. It says that execution reverted, access denied, not allowed to withdraw. Why? Because this account is not the owner. And even if I send transaction, it says that this transaction is likely gonna fail. Even if you want, I can send it. So even if you try sending the transaction, you're gonna lose the gas fees, but you will not be able to execute this. So even if I say view on Etherscan, this is gonna fail. This transaction is gonna fail. You're gonna lose the gas fees, but will not be able to withdraw, right? So give it a shot, right? I'll, I'll hold on till this completes. Uh, should complete in like few seconds. Look at that. It says that 
fail with error, access denied, not allowed to withdraw. And where did we put this custom message? If you look at this contract owner, we said access denied, not allowed to withdraw. And that is what you're seeing on this. And this is a failure of the transaction. Now, one thing that you would like to uh, understand or focus on is I'm running or executing this contract through the Remix. And this is very much Remix console, which was good for development, but not really good for real cases. That is where we will use Web3.js and Python to interact with this transaction. We have been using the remix.ethereum.org to write the first contract on the Ethereum network. Going forward, we'll use the Web3 interface using Web3.js and Python to interact and talk to the Ethereum network. Thank you and keep watching.